Good morning. Good morning. Um, it's about 10 o'clock. It's exactly 10 o'clock. I am in Saskatoon getting unloaded. I have to get to Meadow Lake after this. I need a hard hat for where I'm going. I don't have a hard hat. So that's the mission now. Go find a hard hat. Ah, gotta be careful. You okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got the exact same thing as that, but I get this one. Yeah. Alright, hey, appreciate it. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Oh, actually, can you put the power pump? Can you lift that up? Yeah, you're not strong enough. Yeah, you're not strong enough. Right here, please. Chill guy, nice guy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, look at that. Found a freaking good life. Thank God for good life fitnesses. This is so refreshing to be in a gym right now. I'm gonna have a bomb ass workout. I was just looking for a hard hat by the way and I just saw Marks and right by Marks there's this good life fitness so I'm like okay this is a good chance to go work out so therefore now I'm here amongst these barbells Canadian Tire. Make a good story. So I am somewhere by Penticton, BC. I have to get to Penticton in the next hour or so. I'm already running late and there's a problem with the, the well there's a leak so it keeps leaking air um, and I have to get that fixed now so this is where I'm stuck right now in the middle of a intersection well not exactly in the middle but in the left turning lane of an intersection my truck's not moving Stopped, uh, stopped making air. Uh, I just called the mechanic to get here, but this is kind of stupid. And I've been directing traffic this whole time because there's people that just line, line up behind the truck to turn left. But I've been directing them to go like around. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think I any. Uh, so, yeah, so I don't think I gave any context to the story what just happened. So my uh, my truck started losing air, and well, with what happens is when you lose air, it just the brakes don't release when there's no air in the tanks because they're air brakes. I was gonna go to where I need to get to and find a mechanic there, but that's not what ended up happening. So now I'm just stuck. I'm stuck in the middle of an intersection. Please, please go around. Thank you. So, some people just don't get it. Some people take a while to understand what I'm saying. They'll just stay there looking at me like, what's this guy doing? And I'm just like, go around, man. Why can't you? Why don't you understand? I'm telling you to go around. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I could be like fuming in my truck right now. Oh, my God. God, oh my God, why is this happening to me? Why am I stuck here? It's so easy to start fuming. 
But it's like things like these just happen and then you can't do anything about them. And then like instead of, um, you know, just sitting there and getting pissed, which isn't going to do anything in the first place. It's better to like, you know, just accept it and document it and laugh about it. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, so it turns out it's basically nothing. There was literally a hose that's just not put on properly. Current situation is this. Good morning! Well, it's 11 o'clock now, but still, good morning. I am in Creston, BC. And it's really nice here. The weather is beautiful. It's the perfect weather. It's like, all you need is a hoodie and you're set. That's my truck right there. I found a cafe online. It says there's a retro cafe. I'm gonna go see what it's about. I want some cha for the morning. Um... Yeah, so the drive from Penticton, BC to Creston, BC, well, BC, <laughs> Creston, BC is the shittiest drive you could be on. It's it's the shittiest drive for a truck. Um, hills that are too steep, the roads are slippery, there's too many weather changes. It's literally a five hour drive and in the five hours I've seen four different times it started snowing and then stopped snowing. Yep. This this is the this is a retro cafe. Okay. It's a nice place to be in. It's like a nice little town. This is beautiful. This would be really nice to live. Yeah, it would be really nice to live here. Um it's open. It's a really small, it's a really small cafe, but it's so nice, it's, it's like a cute little cafe, I don't know if you can see behind. So that's it. That is one dirty ass windshield, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna end the video here because I'm waiting now and I'm just gonna get these clips together and edit them. See you in the next one!